Coach, oh, just your reaction to, to hearing the good news about Robert today? Well, excited for Robert, first and foremost. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, excited to have him back. Selfishly, obviously, you know, you talk about the guy who's been a starter in our program for a couple of years. And, uh, um, you know, we'll work him in as uh, as we see fit and kind of make the decision after uh, tomorrow's practice. But, uh, um, you know, we, we have to change our defense at the time that he's been gone. So, I mean, he, he has an understanding of uh, what we are and, and got him uh, some work today. So, uh, no, certainly excited, excited to have him back. Your defense has put up some good numbers in the time he has been gone. How much do you adjust with him coming back? Well, I, you know, we try to rotate a lot up front. As, you know, uh, and, and, and the more the more guys that uh, uh, you know, we have, it just it controls reps, and for, especially for those front guys. Um, you know, allows them to, you know, if they're playing 20 or 30 snaps a game as opposed to 40 or 50 snaps a game, they have a chance to be more effective. And so, uh, you know, having him in the rotation, you know, we don't ask those guys to play, you know, 80 snaps or anything that, that, that way. So to, to have him in the rotation is not only benefits him, but it also benefits, you know, the, the, the guy that's, uh, you know, maybe sitting on the sideline for a couple of plays. And so it just, it, it allows us to do that more, you know, so, uh, and we expect him to, to play at a high level. Did he have any sort of a workout plan or way to keep in shape? You talked with him before he left. Yeah, he, he's been uh, he's been working on it, so I, I don't have any major concerns that way. You know, and, and uh, uh, kind of with that, we're, we're not going to ask a guy to, to play you know, four or five snaps in a row, be in the, the two to three snap range. But that's consistent with you know typically what we do. You know, so um, yeah, we'll uh, obviously keep a close eye on him in that, and want to put him in a situation that uh, he can be successful, but. Uh, uh, we, we expect him to have a good workout here, and uh, like he, he never left. And then certainly uh, uh, the, the guys were excited to have him back. Did, did, did you follow the whole saga much? All the parents coming in and all these advocates for him, and players showing up at those meetings and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, certainly, you're aware of it. And, and, I, and I think the the, the, the thing that uh, was so clear is, is obviously the support of his teammates, and, and uh, um, that, that's. You know, unfortunately, a lot of times it's, it's negative situations where you actually uh, kind of see those things uh, uh, maybe come to come to light as opposed to just a, a normal everyday practice and meetings and everything else. So, um, no, you don't bury your head in the sand you know, from that standpoint. But uh, you know, obviously, we had uh, several games we had to prepare for as well. Coach, getting him back in the middle of the week, how do you get him back up to speed? Does he have to do extra meetings, extra films? Yeah, and we will. We will. You know, we, we do uh, uh, quite a bit, you know, what we call run through, but uh, you know, kind of an extended walk through type of thing, tempo wise. And so we'll make sure he gets all those reps because then you're not concerned about when, you're not concerned about you know, uh, you know, physically beating guys down. You know, so Thursday we, we uh, crank, you know, we do them on Tuesday and Wednesday, and so we got some today, but it, we'll, we'll crank that up that much more tomorrow. So, um, no, I, I, don't, I don't have any real concerns in terms of uh, his mastering of the uh, of the game plan. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys.